we're across from the Holiday Inn where you just came out of a Go NH meeting. And uh, what did you think of the meeting? Uh, it's it's okay. It, it's okay. There, there. Uh, Scott Scott gave a statement to begin with, and he stood on his same issues, platforms, whatever you want to call it. He insists that he um, didn't support the um, the assault weapons ban uh, and extended magazine ban. He never voted on it. He was emotional, like everybody else was at the time, and that he insists he, if elected, he's not going down to Washington to um, to um, present any new gun leg anti-gun legislation or gun control legislation. Okay. And people keep asking questions or uh, multiple ways to try to um, get credibility from them. Um, he, they asked, uh, for example, uh, um, if he'd sign a pledge. If he'd sign a pledge uh, that he wouldn't uh, propose or uh, support any um, gun control legislation, he refused to sign the pledge. He, um, he refused? Yeah. He did, he give, did he give a reason why? He doesn't sign pledges of any kind. Okay, well I can understand why he wouldn't sign the pledge that his <laughs> opponent maybe Gene Jaheen Speaking of which, he keeps insisting, going back to the fact that uh, NRA has given him a 91% approval rating throughout his political career, and Gene Shaheen has voted 99% of the time with, with Barack Obama against all gun le legislation. He just keeps reiterating the same soundbites. Yeah, now did he say that he was bipartisan? <laughs> did he say those words? Did he say I am bipartisan? He didn't say that in fact, but he did he did infer that he 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 will vote for common sense legislation. He has voted with the Democrats on common sense legislation. He votes on the legislation and not by party. Okay, did he mention this statistic to you? That his first year in the Senate, he voted 22% of the time with the Democrats. The second year, he voted 46% of the time with the Democrats. He and didn't, his last he, nobody year- brought, Nobody brought it up and he, did, he certainly didn't volunteer. Yeah, and the last time, the last year, 62% of the time, this Republican voted with the Democrats. So he didn't bring that up. He didn't. No one asked, and he didn't bring it up. Ah, well, that's too bad. What, um, I asked him uh, when I got what a chance. What was your question? I, yeah, my question was, I, I told him that of all the people are sitting there with many questions in their minds, and no matter what the question is, and you've heard of diverse uh, a number of questions, what we really all want to know, Mr. Brown, is can we believe you and trust you? So the best question I can think of to get that answer for all of us present here is what were you thinking in the aftermath of Sandy Hook when you jumped on board with everyone else and supported assault, an assault weapon ban and an extended magazine ban? What were you thinking? We want to know what was in your mind. Did it ever occur to you that all of these uh, uh, mass murders that have been taking place throughout the country have all happened in gun-free zones? Did it ever occur to you that maybe the problem is gun-free zones and the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun? He didn't know how to answer it. He didn't, he didn't not. give me a satisfactory well, let me put it this way. He didn't give me a satisfactory answer. Oh, wait a minute. This was his answer. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. That has to happen at the state level. At any point in time, did he give, without being asked, what his policy considerations would be on any topic, specifics? I said to a, a reporter for, uh, uh, what's the name of the organization? The Concord Monument? Sisters, no, the Sisters. Oh, Second Amendment. Second Amendment Sisters. Okay. He never, whenever he answers a question, you never come away with a satisfactory answer. It is what it is what it is, it is and, what we, it is. and we have to vote upon the evidence given or the lack thereof. There you go. I'm done with this interview. I was gonna say, Steve, thank you for taking more than a few moments with Granite Cry. Thank you, Skip. <laughs>